Lover 18 here today with set number 21110, the Research Institute, the Lego Ideas Research Institute. This set is ages 10 plus. It has 165 pieces and it consists of the three little sets with three minifigures. And it is the, as I said, the Research Institute. This set is really awesome. It was for it was introduced to the formerly Kuso platform and then when it was funded, it was funded on Lego Ideas when they merged over. I can't remember. It's Ariel, I think, is the designer of this set. It is set. It is Lego Ideas set number eight, Lego like Kuso number eight, and it is very awesome because this is one of the projects that I actually know that I have supported on Lego Ideas, Lego Kuso. So when I was able to get this for Christmas, I was very, very excited. Let's take a look at the set now. And when we're going to look at the sets now, and we're going to start out with everybody's favorite, the paleontologist with the huge, awesome sculpture of a dinosaur. So like everybody else, this is definitely, it's definitely, I think it's my favorite as well of the set, the three little mini builds. It comes with the actual dinosaur, the minifigure, and then this re, um, microscope, I guess it would be. A microscope along with a bone to analyze but the bone I find never stays on the thing so that's why it's laying on the ground here let's take a look at the minifigure and then we'll take a look at the sculpture here is the dinosaur this dinosaur is pretty cool it has a great use of snot studs not on top it's a building method if you build mocks you would probably know and it is actually like very, very cool. So here's the head up the very top of the sculpture of the dinosaur and it actually it moves up and down as well as the mouth opens and shuts. So your dinosaur can pretend to eat maybe a minifigure or something like that. Moving down the spine here, it is very neat how they have so many components, Lego parts, that make it look like a real bony dinosaur. It actually it does if you want your minifigure to be able to maybe discover the bones or something like that and then assemble it it does easily come apart and you can hide this maybe in a city or a mock or even just have it break apart so you're a young one or even yourself however old you are can play with it the tail here is all one Lego component one Lego mold it looks bigger but it is like it does it looks yeah, it's pretty big. It looks like more than one bone, but it is not, and it all is assembled. And like myself at first, I thought the legs could not hold anything, and they were. That's why there's a support here at the very front of the model. But I was wrong. And unless you break off the head, which I have just done in this review, I'm bricks are and I'm breaking things. The legs actually do hold up this model. Therefore, this support here is just there for decoration or like museums have it because theirs actually can't hold up by themselves but this one can and here are the legs here and it's all on a six by six base not a base plate but a plate because that's what every all the models in the set are six by six plates move that to the side here and this is what the microscope looks like there's the binoculars at the top here which is very cool looking down onto this platform right here and it that's where the bone goes but I, I personally find it very hard with my big fingers to get the bone on the right spot it I always make it fall but I got it for this review and then here's the stand that it all comes on 360 of it not I can't do an actual 360 but I could kind of show you I do a 360 this sculpture will just get in the way but I'll do it anyway very cool let's take a look at the other sets I almost forgot we have to review the Lego minifigure so this minifigure guess what it's a female minifigure 
I don't know about the face, but I know the torso is not new for this set. It is a pretty generic torso. You can get it in a lot of city sets, as well as the hair piece. But it is very neat anyway, because it's a paleontologist, and that's what she looks like with, you know, some cargo pants on. And that's just the, the, stereo, the stereotype. And she's also holding a magnifying glass, which that is very cool. Now we'll take a look at the other sets. Here's the next set, and that is the Astronomer. Do a 360 on it before we go into more detail here. Let's take a look at the minifigure before we forget again like last time. Here's the minifigure. Again, the torso is a uh, standard city torso, front printing, no back printings for the women, standard women torso. But the hair, the hair and the head is what I'm not sure about. It could be different. I'm gonna zoom in on the hair without losing my focus on the camera because I think the hair is just a very cool piece. I, I, I've seen these in like dark brown and brown, reddish brown before, but I've never seen it in blonde. So it could be rare to the set. I'm not really sure. We'll do a 360 of the this backdrop here, just so you can see it without the minifigure on it. The floor here is all one by one tiles, and that took a lot of time for me to make sure they were all perfectly straight, because I didn't want some to be not straight and some to be straight. Now we're moving up here, and we're going to look at the board with all the uh, constellations on it first. This is a printed piece, so that was very, very cool to have a piece like this, and it is the way they have it designed is it's like a chalkboard. It's got all the major, some of the major, not all of them, but some of the major constellations. And you can see them there with a little picture of them all. And I'll just, and it's just a four by four tile with some studs on the bottom being held up by these kind of supports. But it is very cool here. And now we'll take a look at the uh, telescope. So the telescope is not one piece. It is made up from multiple different pieces that are very, very cool. It is the bucket, actually, from, I think, the Series 10 Painter. Well, I think it's in multiple sets, but the bucket at the top with some studs going down, as well as the lightsaber shaft at the bottom. It also consists of a bow, a crossbow, and it is being held over here like this to be down here with the for the, the post to hit to go to the floor. So this is a very cool use of bricks here. And this is something that I never personally would have come up with making mocks or something. So con I congratulate the Lego group and the designer of the set for use of awesome components like this. I think it makes this set, this part of the set, look absolutely amazing. Here's the final set in this set, and it is the female scientist. So we'll just do a 360 of it here before we show you the I show you the minifigure, and then talk more about the actual set itself. This minifigure is definitely the coolest minifigure in the set. We'll just do a 360 here and then we'll talk about her a little more. She has front and back printing. It's a lab coat and she's also holding two chemicals. This thing there and another thing there. This test tube component and then this a cone stud, so like chemical she's pouring in. So I'm going to remove those from her hands now so we can take a look at this minifigure some more. It's hard to remove all the stuff. Well, I have all my camera and lighting equipment in the way, and make see I make her fall over. So, I could be mistaken, but I think this print on her torso is exclusive to the set, just because I've never seen it before. Because they've never, I don't think they Legos ever made a female scientist before. So here's what the front looks like, and we'll just rotate it around to the back. And it's hard to see through her hair, so I'm gonna also remove her hair. And when I remove her hair, you'll see, oh my gosh, she has two faces. So this face maybe is like a, oh my gosh, these chemicals are going to explode face. As, and then the other side's a calm, like, I can do this face, like, smile. It's like a half smile, half not. 
I think they should have made this more of a smile this face, but because she looks kind of grumpy, in my opinion. But that could just be me. This is a very cool minifigure, and I believe that those two, the two prints in this minifigure, are exclusive to this set. set itself here doesn't consist of much. It's basically just a countertop with a bunch of test tubes and testers and bottles on the counter here. We'll do a 360 of it here. Hard for me to do with my nails, but I'm going to take so I'm going to use this cone from the minifigure and I'm going to try. Each drawer actually contains stuff like little things in them. So this drawer, this door, the only door in the set contains two coffee cups and the drawers contain other like uh, accessories and as I said I don't have nails very well so this is hard for me and I apologize there got the one drawer this one has needles or syringes and then this bottom drawer is actually empty and I didn't realize that so I apologize I thought it was full but three syringes so that's a pretty cool to get three syringes in this set the drawers go back in nicely and then here are all the, the test tubes and three different bottles and I really like this mixture to hold it up. It just it adds it adds a cool detail to the set, which is very, very cool. Here's the box for the set. It's got all the information on the side and it's like the brown the, the grey, sorry. It's like the grey from all the Lego Idea sets as well with the blue. It has all three sets located in it, and then the Research Institute text down here. Set number eight of the Lego Ideas. On the top here, it's got all the minifigures, all the Lego information. And then on the back here, it gives a little information about each one. The astronomer, the chemist, the paleontologist. And then it's got their classic Lego Ideas. It says, share your idea, gather support, Lego review, new Lego product. Nothing on the bottom here. And it opens up. It's, I like how the Lego Ideas box opens up. And in the bottom here, we have the instruction manual. And I don't normally show you instruction manuals in Lego sets, just because the, you know who cares what the instructions look like unless you actually have bought in the model or something like that. In which case, you can look on Lego.com. But this Lego instruction is very cool. It has all the sets on the front again. And then when you open it up, it's got the information about the designer. So that is. I think that is very cool, and that's Ariel, or what's her name? I'm not really sure. Yeah. At, oh, it's not Ariel. It's at at a lateral or something. Her name is Ellen. This is a very cool set. I thought her name was Ariel, but see, we all make mistakes. And then it actually gives little details on everything an astronomer, a paleontologist, and a chemist does. Then it has the classic Lego ideas little round up and now it has the French version because in Canada here we have to have it all French and English and then it's Spanish even wow so lots of languages at the front and then we have a little demonstration of the brick separator and we start making the bag thank you so much for watching this video about the Research Institute, set number 21110, ages 10 plus, 165 pieces, set number 8 of the LEGO Ideas line. This is a very, very cool set. Normally I like to keep my reviews unbiased, but this, this set is just amazing. And if you do have the opportunity to, to pick this set up, I thoroughly recommend it. It is a very, very cool set. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, and of course subscribe. You can also answer the today's video question in the comments below. The question can be found in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Go check out all my other videos, my other reviews. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a great day.